Coffee table styling has become one of my favorite things to do. Simply by moving things from other parts of your home and changing things out will give you a whole totally different look. So that's what makes this so exciting. Here's the before picture of the coffee table. I was sitting here on my couch and I decided just to play around with styling. And let's see what the looks I came up with. I came up with three different styles. Here's an overview of what my current living space um, looks like at the time. Nothing has changed. Um, it's the, still the same setup. So styling my coffee table, it provides a different look and feel. So I am so excited to start styling. Let's get started. Here I removed all the items off, placed this tray on the table. Here I switched out the actual flowers. This is my brooch bouquet. I'll show you a close-up view of it later on in the video. It is so beautiful. I DIY'd this brooch bouquet years and years ago. Um, so yeah, I still use it to this day. Here I'm placing these crystal candle holders on top of some more candlesticks. And it just provides a different look. Just so rich and elegant, I just love it. This is a very simple, straight to the point, not a lot of fuss to this coffee table. I do enjoy the simplicity of this look. But as we go on, I will add um, a coffee table. I added coffee table books. I added a bowl of crystal and an Eiffel Tower. I'm just adding and layering more and more onto the coffee table. Whatever um, is yours in here, I moved the Eiffel Tower over by the candlesticks. Here is the brooch bouquet up close. A lot of my brooches came from the um, from Michael's um, craft store and like the Goodwill. I would just find any type of brooches. I've taken earrings apart. So yes, you can use any type of brooch. I just love brooch bouquets. They're so awesome. Um, here I pair this particular styling with all crystal candlesticks. I really, really enjoy this look as well. And I have a bow filled with, this is nothing but all broken crystal candlesticks. My son broke them, but I didn't want to get rid of them, so I use them as base fillers. Look at these beautiful brooches up close. Some of them are pins, some of them are actually necklaces. Anything that was sparkly, that was pretty, that fit in, I was on a hunt for them. In the future, I will be updating and do another one. This one is a fairly older one. I've been having this one for years, so I am excited to look and prepare for new brooches and do a new brooch bouquet in the future. Mixing metal is always a fun idea as well. It's a little unexpected sometimes, so let's start with this gold tray. Adding the same brooch bouquet back together. Adding a candle in. And I'm gonna add these simple sparkly candlesticks. I have to thank my daughter for letting me use her books to style this coffee table. I am waiting on some to come in the mail, so I'm so excited to have my own coffee table styling books. This is a very chic way to mix metals here, but I am going to layer it a little more and add the gold Eiffel Tower back to the table over here by the candlesticks. I think it helps balance out and bring a little more gold in. And then just bring that bowl of crystals back and add the crystal candles um, back as well. I was so sad to see my candlesticks broken, but I was refusing to get rid of them. So base fillers they became. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope I inspired you to maybe go move things from different parts of your home and spruce up and give your space a new look without using any money. I moved everything around my home 
and provided a new look. I am so, so excited about this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do so. And thank you guys so much for rocking out with me. And I will speak to you guys very, very soon. Bye for now.